I mean, we did some initial pitching while we were at DreamIt where, where we call on retailers like uh, Belk and Dick's Sporting Goods and Golf Galaxy and talk to them about what, what the vision for the app was. And, and really what, what, what the SnipSnap app does is it allows you to take a photograph of any printed coupon. From that photograph of the coupon, we parse out all the structured coupon data. So the inspiration a little bit was business card scanning apps, which were very very much in vogue two years ago, still really popular today. But the idea basically that you take a photograph of a business card and, and basically be able to turn that into a contact that you can save to your, your, uh, your phone. Same idea with Stimpstab. Take a photograph of a coupon and parse out all of the key details, like the barcode, the face value, the uh, expiration date, and take that structured coupon data and make it... Um, available to render the coupon in a nice mobile optimized format on your phone. So we, we went to retailers and we began telling them like, this is sort of our vision for the product. Um, this is what it's gonna do. And the feedback we got almost unanimously was, well, that sounds handy, but why would I pay for it? And, and we quickly realized that the value we could provide to the retailers was the ability to target our consumers. So being able to collect data on who's using what and what, peop what stores people are shopping at, what coupons they're interested in, and then making that data available to the retailers to be able to target on, um, both through our app and outside of our app. And so we got, we got a lot of initial excitement over that, but you know, we didn't launch for several months. So it was really only when we launched the SnipSnap app, in the, we, we launched in iOS initially, in the, so when we launched in the App Store, that we started to get, we actually got retailers calling us. We had a really great launch. We, we won a bunch of startup events, so we were based in Philadelphia, and we won uh, an event called Mobile Monday Demo Night. We won an event called Switch Philly. Um, then we were um, a finalist at TechCrunch Disrupt. Uh, we even had MC Hammer come out and say how we were his favorite startup. So we, so we launched really strong. We had all this great kind of buzz, and you know, not just the tech community, but even the larger community. Uh, we were very fortunate that Apple actually made us the, the, the when we launched, we were new and noteworthy, which is sort of the, the top section of the, the front page of the App Store. And so in the first two weeks, we had about 200,000 downloads. So we had a lot of people snipping a lot of coupons. And it really, it was kind of crazy because overnight, we, we had assembled the biggest database of in-store coupon content of any app. I won't say that the idea happened overnight. It took us many months to get to that point where we were able to launch. But when we did launch, we launched very strong. That opened up a lot of doors for us. Like on the, on the investor side, we were able to quickly close um, around um, and, and get some money uh, back in the bank. And start, like, we were basically out of cash at that point. So it allowed us to start paying ourselves a salary and keep the, keep the thing going. Um, but we, we also had the um, uh, sort of unexpectedly, we started getting retailers calling us. And we had so many people going into Bed Bath & Beyond and Walgreens that I got, a, I got calls from the head of digital marketing at Bed Bath & Beyond and the head of mobile marketing for, for Walgreens within you know, a week or two of launching. It, it, the calls were a little um, interesting. They, they, they were, this is really cool, but we didn't give you permission to do this. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's figure out how we work together. And, and, no, and nobody was saying, you know, shut it down, don't do it. Um, but they were, they were, you know, they were like, you know, kind of uh, impressed and bemused that it had gotten such crazy traction with, with consumers just right off the bat. It helps a lot when Apple features you. I mean, no, no amount of uh, paid marketing or, or PR you can do will equal the, 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 the power, at least for, for apps, the power of Apple putting you in one of those featured spots. So that made a huge difference. Uh, our app has always had a, a lot of virality to it, where, where about two-thirds of our users hear about the app from a friend. I, I think, you know, there, there were a few things that, that we had to scramble to, 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 to fix, you know. Um, our servers never went down, but, but we had to deal with the fact that, like, we didn't anticipate so many people taking photographs of inappropriate things. So we had to very quickly figure out how to put filters in place to make sure that those inappropriate things weren't clogging up our system. We had was some minor scaling things just in terms of, like, spinning up new servers to handle all the load. But, um, but, it, but our, our system held up pretty well, and we were able to keep up with the coupons. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was good.